I said, what happened? And he said, I just couldn't get in the air. He said, I just couldn't get in the air. Close call for a 69 year old man as his ultra light vehicle aircraft came crashing down into Clark's Lake in Rockingham County yesterday afternoon. Lucky for him, another man named Joe Rouch was nearby and came to his rescue. I'm Michael Hennessy. This is the Fox 8 News at 11. Fox 8's Justin Lundy joins us live from outside the Rockingham County Sheriff's Office here at 11 after talking with the man who jumped into action before first responders could even get there. So, Justin, how was he able to pull that pilot out? Well, Joe says that he jumped into his canoe and paddled across the lake to save him. And based off the way that the vehicle crashed into the lake and nosedive, he says that it's a miracle that he made it out alive and that his rescue mission had a happy ending. Joe Rauch was working in the yard at his Reesville home Tuesday afternoon when something caught his eye. There weren't any explosions or anything like that. It was just spoosh, he was in the water. Floating in Clark's Lake was an ultralight vehicle piloted by 69-year-old Cletus Blackwell. According to the Rockingham County Sheriff's Office, he had taken off from Wharf Airport around 3 o'clock and ended up in the water a minute later. So I grabbed a couple of my uh, canoe paddles and a life jacket and I ran out here and got into the canoe. Uh, my one friend was calling 911 and the other one was uh, pushing the canoe out uh, into the water. While Rauch paddled across the lake, the pilot managed to get out of the sunken vehicle and climb on top. First find out if he was okay, and then I was able to get him into the uh, canoe and bring him back to the bank where uh, EMS people were showing up, and they took it from there. Rockingham County Sheriff Sam Page says the cause of the crash was high winds. When the person was taken off, had some type of difficulty with the aircraft, the wind or something like that, and uh, I guess couldn't clear the tree areas, and so therefore uh, lost altitude and went into the lake. Blackwell's wife called Rock to thank him for saving her husband, but he doesn't want to be called a hero. No, <laughs> no, I, people have said that, but I am not. I just, fortunately, this is what I said this to his wife and everybody else that said that to me, and that is because she thought I was an angel, and I said, I'm far from being an angel. I said, uh, I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. Sheriff Page says there's no further investigation into the crash, and Blackwell has hired crews to remove the ultralight vehicle from the lake. I also reached out to Blackwell to see how he's doing, and I have not heard back from him just yet, but officials say that he has suffered from minor bruises. Reporting live in Rockingham County, Justin Lundy, Fox 8 News.